Zoo and the Wizard. What are you doing, oh. Grandpa? Uh, I'm planting some flowers, Zoo. What are they called? Uh, these are gardenias. Beautiful, aren't they? Mum said yes. I can stay and play for the whole day. Brilliant! Uh, what should we play? Let's play that game where a brave knight uh, rescues a princess um, locked up in the mm -hmm. castle dungeon. All right, but this time you be the princess. Me? A princess? Do I look like a princess? Not much, mm. no but I'd like to be a knight for once. Uh, well, why don't you both be knights for a change? Great idea, Grandpa. Yay! Good. And I know just the thing to turn you into real knights. You two wait here. I'll be right back. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> He's here, Elsie. Grandpa, you said you'd be right back. Mm. Uh, sorry, you two. I couldn't find what I was looking for. Mm. Hmm. Oh, abracadabra! Ooh. Grandpa, where did they come from? Ah, oh, well, you see, your grandpa is actually a powerful wizard. And you've magicked up our knight's helmet. <laughs> That's right. Two knight's helmets for two brave knights. Ta-da! Oh, they're perfect. Wow, these helmets make us the best knights in the world. <laughs> but who are we going to rescue? Oh, yes. Now we haven't got a princess. Ah, but I think I know of someone else who needs rescuing. I believe there is a fairy queen imprisoned in this enchanted castle. A fairy queen? In the house? Uh, I mean the castle. <laughs> yes. Um, she's the queen of the Golden Cape. Rescuing a queen? Whoa! That's just the sort of quest we knights have been looking for. But why is the queen of the Golden Cape being imprisoned? Um because she's the <gasps> best cook in the kingdom and an evil sorceress wants her recipes. But, alas, even with my magic powers, I shall never be able to rescue her from the evil sorceress by myself. Will you two brave knights agree to help me? Yes! Don't imagine that this is going to be an easy quest, though, because... To get to the castle, mm. you will first have to find your way past the fierce crocodile. Oh. Snap! <gasps> snap! <gasps> snap! <laughs> snap! <laughs> snap! <laughs> snap! <laughs> snap! <laughs> Don't touch the grass, brave knights, or the crocodile will get you. <laughs> snap! Hip. <laughs> Careful, Grandpa. The crocodile might get you. Oh! Rah! Snap, oh. snap, snap! Oh! Snap. <laughs> Rah! Snap, snap, snap! Snap! <laughs> Whoa! That crocodile really is fierce. Ah! Ah! Help me, Zoo. I've fallen in the water. A snap, snap, snap! <laughs> A snap, ah! snap, snap! Ah! Snap, snap, snap! Rah! Snap! <laughs> oh. oh, it's nearly gobbled us up. <gasps> oh, no! The castle entrance is guarded by a terrible dragon. But he's asleep. If we can get past without waking him up. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Oh, no! The dragon's woken up! He'll breathe fire at us. Oh, he sounds hungry. He'll have us for lunch. I've got something that will help us. What's that? Dragon food. Fierce dragon, will you let us pass and allow us to enter the castle? <laughs> You've made a friend, Zoo. Perhaps he'll help us on our quest. Good idea, Grandpa. Dragon, will you help us find the Fairy Queen? 
<laughs> Just a little further, we've almost reached the room in which the Queen is imprisoned. A golden cape. Could it belong to her? Oh, I think it must. Where can she be? Grandpa Wizard, didn't you say that she was a very good cook? Of course, that's it. Maybe she's in the kitchen. You may be right. To the kitchen, children. Um, my brave knights. <laughs> It's the sorceress. Quick, hide, or she'll turn us the same with her magic wand. My magic cape will hide you quick, behind me. <laughs> now I will... Shh. <laughs> oh, 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 that was close. Come along. If the Queen is imprisoned in the castle kitchen, oh, we're going to have our work cut out to free her. The door's locked. We need the keys. Um, there they are. Go and get them. I'll keep a lookout. <laughs> Too high. <laughs> there must be a way. Um, hmm. Um, hmm. Of course, Pock. Our dragon can help us. Oh, <laughs> come on, Pock. Wow. Well done. And now to free the queen. Oh, but beware. The kitchen <gasps> is defended by one of the guards. She's holding a magic spear. Just as I said, she's keeping an eye on the Queen. We'll never get past her. Not unless we can stop the magic spear. Let's hope my magic is powerful enough. Abracadabra! <laughs> done it! It's open! Well done! Now, go and set the Queen free. I'll wait for you outside. Where have they gone? I'm sure they were here. We found her! Yeah! Oh, my colanders! <laughs> I've been looking for them everywhere. We have come to rescue you, Your Majesty. Rescue me? Yes, come with us. The wizard is waiting for us outside. The wizard? Zoo? Elsie? <laughs> what are you talking about? We've escaped from a dreadful crocodile and a hungry dragon. And we almost got oh. turned to stone by an evil sorceress. Sorry, dears. I'm afraid I don't have time to play. I have to make lunch. But, Your Majesty, the sorceress's guard is going to come back with her magic spear. Oh. We've got to go. Quickly. The wizard's waiting for you. Oh, very well, then. Your golden cape, Your Majesty. <laughs> but where are you taking me? Lunch is never going to be ready on time. Oh, no need to make lunch. I'm taking you out to a restaurant. <clears throat> um, to a banquet. A banquet? Yes. And I think we'd better take our two knights with us to escort us safely there. Yay! Your carriage awaits, Your Majesty. That was a brilliant 
game, Sue. That's what happens when you have a wizard for a grandpa. <laughs> Zoo's Alien Hunt. Wow! Oh! Wow! <gasps> what happened? <laughs> oh, that's the last alien movie in the box. Do you think aliens could ever come to Earth, Grandpa? Oh, I don't know. Space is very big. Maybe they are out there. Would they be friendly? Oh, I'm sure they would. And they'd want to know all about us zebras. Cool. Well, until they come and visit, let's go play, Ozzy. All right, you two. Have fun. <laughs> hey! <laughs> this one's yours. <laughs> Wow! Did you see that? Yeah. Wow! The aliens are coming. I'll go and get Grandpa. <gasps> Grandpa, oh. Grandpa, come quick. The aliens are here. They're spaceships outside. Are you sure, Zoo? Maybe it's a low-flying plane. No, it didn't look like a plane. Come on, Grandpa. It went over there. What are you two up to? Mum! That was a big spaceship with aliens in it. <laughs> I, I can't see it now, Zoo. We have to go and find it. Right now. I want to make friends with them. Maybe they'll give us a ride in their spaceship. Can I go and look for aliens, Mum? As long as you're with Zoo's grandpa. OK, Mum. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's make the aliens some food. <laughs> I do hope these aliens are hungry. Oh, yes, Grandma. They've come from a long way. They're going to be starving. <laughs> oh! What's wrong, Sue? I don't know what to say to an alien. Do I say, hello, Mrs. Alien, or hello, Mr. Alien? Well, I'm sure what's nice is to say, hello, I'm Zoo. Welcome to Earth. And then bow, like this. <sighs> <gasps> <laughs> Perfect. Well done. I'm sure any alien would like to be greeted like that. Cool. Come on, Elsie. We need to go and get Grandpa. Grandpa, we've got the sandwiches. Ah, oh, Zoo. Here's your alien finding kit. An alien finding kit? A camera, a video camera binoculars, a magnifying glass, and a notebook <laughs> and pen. Thanks, Grandpa. Come on, Elsie. Let's go find the aliens. Yeah! Maybe the aliens are a bit scared of us. We have to show them that we want to make friends. But we don't know where they are. We need to look at their tracks, like in the movies. Oh, sometimes their spaceship leaves burn marks, too. There's nothing here. No sign at all. We need a plan. Um... You try and record them with this, Elsie. And, Grandpa, you use these binoculars to see if they're far away. <laughs> Good idea, Zoo. I'll take photos and make notes. Come on, let's go this way. <laughs> Be quiet. We don't want to scare them. <gasps> oh, what was that? Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Over there, Zoo. I just saw some bushes move. Wow, this could be it. Just think, the first time a zebra meets an alien. Oh. oh. Maybe they float above the ground, so there are no footprints. That would be so cool. Maybe they climbed a tree. They could be anywhere. Huh? Let's try the flower beds. I saw a movie once where they like flowers. Maybe they've changed colour. They did that in the movie too. Colour changes Alien 4. Oh yes, I saw it. They were in the same colour as the flowers. I remember. And they like their smell. Ooh, they should like it around here then. <laughs> oh! <sighs> Looking for aliens is hungry work. Yes, I'm peckish too. Let's have our picnic. Maybe the aliens will smell the food and come and join us. Yay! <laughs> Perhaps they're shy. We have to listen for them. Oh no! I left the video camera by the tree. Quick! <gasps> Elsie, the video camera's on. Maybe we can see the aliens. Uh oh! Did you hear that? It's a spaceship. Heard spaceship. Didn't see it. I wonder where they've gone. Maybe they're on the swings. Or roundabouts. Come on. To the playground. <gasps> Look, over there! That silver thing! It's moving! It's an alien! It's quite small for an alien. <laughs> Pots found part of their spacesuit. Photo taken of part of alien spacesuit. <gasps> what was that? Let's hide. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, oh, hello, Zach. I thought you were an alien. We saw a big silver spaceship. Where? Where did you see it? It was over there. That's where Pop found part of the alien spacesuit. Cool. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Uncle Xavier. Are you looking for the aliens too? Zack and Mr. Zoe just saw their spaceship. It's not a real spaceship, Zoo. It looks like one, but it's a hot air balloon. It was tied up, but it got free. I have to get it back. I've been looking for it everywhere. But we heard a whoosh noise, just like a spaceship. Balloons don't go whoosh. It must have a leak, so the air is coming out. That's why it's making a noise. But what's this? That's some of the balloon material. So there's no aliens? No alien invasion? No. Not today, Zoo. Oh, look, there it is, over there. <laughs> my balloon! My balloon! Oh. Stop my balloon! <laughs> yeah. We've got you, Uncle Xavier. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 Thank you, everyone. As a reward, why don't you come to the balloon show? Yeah! Ho, 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 ho. This way, everyone. I've got a surprise for you. <laughs> Here are my alien friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hello, I'm Zoo. Welcome to Earth. I didn't know aliens could dance. 
Hello, Zoo from Earth. I'm oh. Aunt Zelda. <laughs> wow. Zillia. We're promoting Zebra Space Club. Would you like to join? Oh, yes. Me too. And me. <laughs> now you're all space zebras. Yeah! <laughs> I hope real aliens join too one day. And when they do, I'll be ready. <laughs> <laughs> Tick-tock. <laughs> Come on, Pop. <clears throat> Let's go and see Elsie. <laughs> Hello, Zee. Hello, Elsie. I've got a new game. Mini ping pong. Ooh. Can you come over and play? I've got to ask my mum. We're painting my bookshelf green. Come on. <laughs> please, please, mum. Of course you can go and play with Sue. Yeah! Great, let's go. <laughs> as soon as we've finished painting your bookshelf. Oh. Cheer up. We'll be done in one hour. That's not long. I suppose not. Sorry, Zoo. Hmm. <laughs> And the time here on Wonderful Radio Z is just coming up to three o'clock. So over to Ziggy in the mm. newsroom. Zoo, aren't you playing mini ping pong with Elsie? I've got to wait one hour until Elsie's finished painting her bookshelf. How long is one hour exactly? <laughs> one hour exactly? Now that's a tricky one. Um, ah, huh? uh, uh, either. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I think it's somewhere here. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, <laughs> there it is. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! My old alarm clock. And it still works. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Come out, silly. It's just a clock. <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, according to my watch, it's now three o'clock. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now, see how the long hand is on twelve and the short hand is on three? This means that right now it's three o'clock. And now the long hand is going to move all around the clock's face back to 12. At the huh? same time, the short hand will move just a little bit from 3 to 4. And then it will be 4 o'clock, and that's one hour. Exactly. <laughs> Here. I'll set the alarm on 4 o'clock so you'll know when one hour is up. Exactly. <laughs> Great. Thank you, Grandpa. Perhaps it isn't working properly after all. <clears throat> it must be broken. 
Yeah, that's more like it. Hmm. Come on. You can do better if you try. Yes, nearly four o'clock. Alzi will be here soon. Time to get the ping pong game ready. Oh, my! <gasps> Hello, Grandma. What's the rush? It's almost four o'clock and I'm going to miss Top Granny. It's my favourite television show. Almost four o'clock? <gasps> wow! You play ping pong. <laughs> uh, what have I done with the car keys? Where are they? Ah, there they are. Oh. How nice of you to rush out to welcome me home. You should do it more often. I'm late for my four o'clock appointment with Aunt Zelda. Uh -huh. She's going to be so annoyed. She hates to be kept waiting. Four o'clock? Oh, and I promised Nana I'd pick up some shopping from Mr Zoe's. And he shots at four. You may still make it if I drop you off on my way to Zelda's. That'll be great. Have you got everything? Oh, my purse is missing. Are you sure it was in your bag? <gasps> it's in my black bag. I'll start the car while you fetch it. Hurry up. And don't forget the thing on your head. <laughs> Whoa! 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 Oh. Oh. Are you all right? I... I think so. <laughs> Four o'clock must be soon now. We better hurry. Oh, oh sorry about that. <laughs> Don't worry. A uh, little water, and they'll be blooming again in no time. But um, where were you galloping to? Mum's late for her four o'clock appointment with Aunt Zelda, and I've <laughs> you've you've got loads of time. It's only twenty past three. Oh, but <sighs> you can slow down. It's only twenty past three. Oh, are you sure? <laughs> Well, of course I'm sure. I check it every morning with the whirlers. <laughs> so it is. But then why did Grandma say it was almost four? <laughs> Good. We're all set. Let's check the clock. <laughs> oh, what's the matter with this thing? Why isn't Top Granny on? Because it's too early. Too early? <laughs> but, but your alarm clock in the kitchen. Oh! Hooray! The hour is over. <laughs> I think I know what's been going on. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> it's four o'clock. Elsie will be here any minute. I don't think so. I think an impatient little zebra put the clock's hands forward. Mm -hmm. hmm. I thought I'd missed Top Granny. And I thought I was late for my appointment with Aunt Zelda. And I thought Mr Zoe's shop was shut. Sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> you can't make time pass faster by moving the clock's hands. So the hour isn't finished. 
I'm afraid not. You've got to be patient and wait a little longer. Oh. Hmm. oh no. I've got an idea. <laughs> That's it. What do you think? Lovely, Grandpa. Z! Huh? Z! Elsie, it can't be four o'clock already. Yes, it is. I've finished painting my bookshelf. And I've washed the paint off my nose. Oh, and I didn't even have to be patient. <laughs> That's because you were busy gardening with me instead of watching the clock's hands. Come on, many ping pong's waiting. <laughs> This one's yours. Green, my lucky colour. I'm going to win. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> uh, um, one for me, nothing for you. I wasn't ready. That doesn't count. Does it, Pock? Let's see if you can hit this one. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo, please hide and seek. <laughs> so. Hey, Elsie! Great timing! We were just about to start playing. Brilliant! What game? A game huh? that requires concentration, patience and cunning. <laughs> <laughs> Hide and seek! Yay! Do you both know the rules? Tell us again, Grandpa. Elsie might have forgotten. <laughs> Sometimes I forget things too. Well, it's very simple. Someone is it, they close their eyes and count up to 20 while the other players go and hide. And then huh? it has to look for them. Exactly. So, who wants to be it first? Me, me. Huh? It's got to be me. Yeah. Why you and not Elsie? Because I'm really good at counting. And I like searching for things. And Elsie's great at hiding. <laughs> 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 well, that's settled. But let's have two rounds, eh? And there'll be a prize for the winner. OK, I'm going to count. One, two, three, mm -hmm. four, five. I'm going to hide behind five, the fence. Six, seven, eight, nine, um, ten, uh, eleven, <laughs> twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> hmm? Oh! <laughs> Got you! <laughs> you found me! Yep! And now we just need to find Grandpa! Yeah! Hmm. Where is he? <gasps> Garage! Garage. Oh. Huh? <laughs> oh, I forgot I had that. <laughs> Grandpa, what are you doing? Hmm? Oh, uh, I'm sorting out some stuff. My tools are all mixed up. Oh. <laughs> what are these old black sheets doing in here? But you're supposed to be hiding. What? Oh, yes, I quite forgot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I found you anyway. It wasn't that hard. You made so much noise. <laughs> so, I'm the winner. Yay! Can I have my prize? Now, hang on, Zoo. We said there'd be two rounds. And now it's my turn to be it. Off you go and hide. One, <laughs> two, <laughs> three, four. Right, five, where should we hide? Six, Any ideas? Seven, uh, yes, eight, in my house. Nine, well, we better be quick. Ten. We can't hide in here together. There's not enough room for both of us. Not even if we kneel down. We could try. Oh. <sighs> Pock, how's this? <clears throat> Ready huh? or not, here I come. <laughs> oh, this isn't going to work. Let's find somewhere else. Oh, I know. In Nana's flat. Behind her curtains. Yes, come on. Hello, you 
too. How lovely to see you. Very kind of you to drop in and visit me. Oh, Nana, we don't have time for kisses. We've got to hide. Quick. Here I come. Quick, your grandpa's coming. Oh, well, in that case, you'd better come in. <laughs> Brilliant. I'll keep as quiet as a mouse while you hide. He'll never find us here. Where's Pock? Isn't he playing too? Oh. Oh, yes. Of course he is. Sorry, Pock. <laughs> I'm coming. Oh. <laughs> All right in there. Not too cramped. No, we're fine. Shh, Nana. Grandpa's coming. He's going to give us away. We have to keep really quiet or he'll find us. No, oh, in that case, uh, not another word. Phew. Oh, where are my manners? I've not asked you if you want hot chocolate. <laughs> uh, would you like some? No, Nana. We're playing hide and seek. Oh, of course you are. <laughs> Silly me. You're quite sure I make a lovely mug of hot chocolate. If she keeps talking, Grandpa's going to find us right away. <laughs> I'm already here. <gasps> I tell you what, mm -hmm. I'll make you both oh. some nice hot chocky. And some for Grandpa, too. <laughs> then, when he arrives... <laughs> and I think I know where those two little zebras are hiding. Found you! Huh? Oh. Oh. Well, it doesn't count, Grandpa. Nana helped you. Me? Can we have another go? Oh, all right then. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, where can we hide? We could go to my house. Ah, uh, yes. Grandpa will never think of looking for us there. <laughs> Sorry about the mess. Don't worry. It'll make it all the better for hiding. I wonder, are two little zebras playing hide-and-seek by any chance? Yes. Where can we hide, Mum? Hmm. Let's see. Uh, how about your bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> you keep nice and quiet, and I'll pretend I haven't seen you. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Oh! <laughs> Your room's really tidy. Yep. Uh, how about there? Yeah. After you, Pock. <laughs> I think they may have left me a clue. Come in. Hello. I don't suppose you've seen a couple of young zebras coming this way, have you? Oh, now that is what I call a magnificent portrait. It's a very good likeness. Well, I do have a very patient model. Oh, <laughs> a mirror. Well... It's hard to paint a self-portrait without one. <laughs> but it's hard to hold it up and paint at the same time. Hmm. I may be able to help with that. Now that would be very kind. Hmm. <laughs> How long have we been down here? Ages. Let's give up. Mm, no. Like Grandpa said, we have to be patient if we want to win. <sighs> And I want to win that prize. Me too. What is your grandpa doing? <sighs> Maybe he's forgotten about the game again. Should we open the door just a little bit to see what he's up to? OK. Shh. Shh. There. Now, let's see. Ta-da! No need to hold your mirror anymore. Oh, thank you. 
That's perfect. <laughs> Grandpa, what oh. are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for us. Hide and seek, remember? What? Oh. Oh, sorry, you two. When I start fixing things, I forget everything. <laughs> yeah. All right, game over now. Is everyone here? Yay! Let's see. One, two, three. <laughs> and as I didn't find you by myself, I think you must have won. Yay! <laughs> yes, excellent hide-and-seeking. You showed great patience. You deserve a prize, which is... Yay! Yay! Um, oh, uh... The ooh. prize is... A portrait of the hide-and-seek champions! Yay! <laughs> and I think I have an idea for the hide-and-seek champions costumes. What do you think? Wow! <laughs> we look like a couple of proper hide-and-seek champions. Because we can disappear whenever we want to. <gasps> oh, where have they gone? Oh, well, more hide-and-seeking. Here we are! <laughs> 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 Grandpa. I, I think so, Zoo. I'm quite good at mending broken vases. Only next time, perhaps we ought to remember that the living room isn't the best place to play football. <laughs> now, the first thing we'll need is some glue. If I can just remember where I put it. There it is. Thank you, Pock. Ooh. Grandpa, look what I found. My word. I haven't seen that in a while. What is it, Grandpa? That? Um, it's a fly swat for very big flies. Hmm? No, it isn't. <laughs> no, of course it isn't, Zoo. This uh, is a cricket bat. <laughs> 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 it's okay, Pog. Grandpa didn't mean it. So, what's cricket? It's a game. One of the best games in the world. <laughs> it, it is quite complicated, but what it boils down to is this. The bowler bowls, or throws, a ball at you, and you have to hit it. <laughs> huh? Wow, that's fine a ball. Can I have a go with the bat, Grandpa? Well, yes, of course. But I think it might be safer if we play outside. In the garden. <laughs> hmm. there, there might be more space at the beach. The beach? Brilliant! <laughs> yeah, but first, I think we'd better mend that vase. <laughs> Oh. Very good choice. You hey, love guess you. what? Grandpa says that. Oh, oh Zoo! Hello, Zinnia. Hello! Zinnia's come to play for the day. Oh, good. Yes, Xavier and I have to organize a very important event. It's to advertise our shop. So we thought Zinnia might like to play with you. Bye, baby. Mwah. Bye, Zelda. 
Bye! So, what shall we do now? <laughs> uh, Zoo, what are you doing with that vase? Um... Grandpa and I mended it. I didn't know it was broken. It wasn't till, uh, I had an accident. But we're going to the beach. We can't break any vases there. The beach? Oh, goody! We can play pirates. I can be, uh, the brave pirate queen sailing the seven seas in such a treasure and... We're going to play cricket. Oh, oh what's cricket? Well, you have a bat and a ball. Do pirates play cricket? Oh, yes. They love it. So, how do you play? <laughs> now then, the batter stands here in front of these sticks. The bowler... That's me! Yeah, the bowler bowls the ball and the batsman has to hit it. And then everyone else can play pirates! Well, later maybe, but until then, everyone else tries to catch the ball after it's been hit. And if you catch it, the batter stops batting and gives someone else a go. But if the batsman hits it good and hard, he runs. Where to? <laughs> to that stick over there. Hmm. Every time he gets from one end to the other, it's called a run. And the team that scores the most runs wins the game. So, who wants to bat first? Me, 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 me. I wanted to play pirates. I know. We can play pirates and cricket. The pirates, that's us, against the grown-ups. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Yay! <laughs> I've got it! Hooray! Yay! <laughs> 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 That's out! Hooray! <laughs> oh. <laughs> well played, Puck. Pirate Puck! <laughs> certainly looks like treasure. But how did it get here? Maybe. Maybe it's put there by real pirates. Oh. What if they come back for it? Don't worry, Zach. I'm here. I'll protect you from those pirates. Won't we, Grandpa? Of course we will, Zoo. In the meantime, what are we going to do with it? We can't leave it here. Perhaps we ought to take it to the city museum. They'll know about things like this. <gasps> no! Oh, it's the pirates! No, I don't think it is, Zinnia. You stay here with Grandma Pock and mind the treasure. Hmm. I think 
it's your mum and dad's in here. Well, of course I remembered to leave it here. So where is it now? It can't just have disappeared. Zinnia, oh. darling. I thought you were... What are you doing here? Playing pirates and cricket. Cricket? You haven't by any chance seen a large chest around here? Yes. It was full of plates and goblets and knives and forks. Yes. We were supposed to be holding a special barbecue down here for some of our important customers. You know, as a sort of advertisement for the shop. It's up there. But if there's nothing to eat the food off... Well... Did you say yes? Yes. Yes. Thank goodness. Where is it? Up there, on the cricket pitch. Follow me. <laughs> I found it! Well, I suppose it was a good job it was someone we knew. I mean, if anyone else had come across it. Yes, all that gold and silver. <laughs> oh, it's not real gold and silver. Just cleverly made plastic that looks like gold. <laughs> oh, do stop fooling around, Xavier. <laughs> well, the party wasn't supposed to start for a little while, but seeing as we already have some guests and the cutlery and crockery, why don't we get it started now? Yes! yes. yes. Oh, yes! yes. Xavier, be a pet and go and fetch the food. <laughs> Come on, I'll give you a hand. And while we're waiting, let's play some more cricket! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Zoo and the Sandcastle Gala. What a lovely day for the Sandcastle Gala. I can't wait to see all the lovely sandcastles. And I'm judging too. You'll be a great judge, Grandma. <laughs> Will you let me win? <laughs> now, Zoo. <laughs> Just joking, Grandma. Come on, Bok. Let's get my bucket and spade. Here you are, Zoo. Thank you, Grandpa. Oh, and we'll need these, too. Come on. Thanks, Zoo. Make a big sandcastle with loads of turrets. I think I'm going to make a fairy tale sandcastle. Good idea. Me too. Oh, well, I'm going to decorate it with really pretty shells. Yes, and me. Um, huh? I've got something else to add later too. Oh. Oh, our Zinnia is so creative. Some of the sandcastles she's made are just wonderful. I'm sure she is, but I expect all the sandcastles are going to be great. I'm going to make my best sandcastle ever! Right. The Sandcastle Gala is about to start. OK, everyone, have fun. Remember, you can decorate your sandcastles with whatever you want. You've got until lunchtime, then we have our picnic. Yay! Oh, and no grown-ups helping. Ready? I must have dropped my spade. How can I make a sandcastle now? You could use a shell, Zoo. You just need to find a big one. That's a great idea, Grandpa. <gasps> oh, too small. Thanks, Puck. Mm, no, too small. <gasps> Perfect. Ooh, 
Look at all the little creatures. Oh, yes. Very interesting. Let's come back later. I've got a Sankos of Gala to win. <laughs> I remind you that the adults are forbidden to help the children. Well done, Elsie. Brilliant! Uh, what happened? Oh, uh, your sand is a bit wet, Zoo. You need to add some dry stuff. That's the way Zoo will done. <coughs> uh, I'm not really helping. I, I know it's against the rules. <laughs> My Zinnia is such a wonderful artist, even in sand. She's sure to win today. Yes, Zelda, but winning isn't everything. It's really about the children having fun. <laughs> I'm just happy to have a day by the sea. Oh, and a nice picnic. And now for my surprise. Oh. Fairies for a fairy castle. Excuse me, Judge, can you put toys on sandcastles? Oh, yes. I said at the start you can decorate them how you want. Don't worry, Zinnia. I'll get you some fancy lights from the shop. We don't have time, Daddy. We only have until lunchtime. I'll help you, sugar pie. Xavier? <sighs> oh, well. Grown-ups can help, too. Oh, good. Come on, Zoo. Let's build a sandcastle. How can I help, Elsie? Some shells for the castle walls would be great. OK. Thanks, Mum. The Zoe moat can go here, Zack. Good idea, Dad. Hmm. And our moat can go here, Zinnia. It needs a pattern or something. Let's use the shell zoo. It'll make a great pattern. I like that, Grandpa. Oh. Huh. Oh, you could do that too, Zach, while I work on the moat. Okay, Dad. Hey, that's quite enough of that. Remember, you two, this is just for fun. And only the children will get the prize for the best castle. But, but the moat, I haven't finished it. You have now. Oh. Sorry, I can't help you anymore, Zoo. That's okay, Grandpa. I can do it from here. Perfect! That's my Zinnia. Such a quick thinker. Grandpa, I need something to make my sandcastle different, like Elsie and Zinnia have. <laughs> but, Zoo. You haven't got any toys here. I really like the rock pool with the creatures in it. Can I make a mini one for my sandcastle? Oh, now that's a great idea. Hmm. I need something to stop the water from coming out. Thanks, Mum. It's ready, Grandpa. Can we go to the rock pool now? I'll borrow this starfish. And this shell thing. Ah, uh, that's a mussel zoo. And that's a clam. And that's a little fish. 
I know that, Grandpa. A rock pool in these rocks. Now I have to put them in my rock pool. Wonderful, Zinnia, just wonderful. Now for a photo of the winning sandcastle. Uh, I'll make it up to you. Uh, you can have uh, whatever you want. That's okay, Daddy. I know you didn't mean it. Uh, now I'm out of the competition. I won't have time to build another sandcastle. Zinnia, you can help me finish my sandcastle if you want. Oh, thanks, Sue. I'd love to. That's very kind, Zoo. Very nice, Zack. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Those fairies look lovely on your sandcastle, Elsie. Thank you. And your little rock pool looks lovely, Zoo and Zinnia. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> the moats look very nice, too. Mm. <coughs> yes, sir. Everybody stop now. I'm ready to announce the winner. Thank you all. Of course, you're all winners. But the prize goes to... Elsie! Yes! <gasps> well done, Elsie. There's always next year. It's a really beautiful fairy tale sandcastle, Elsie. Thank you, Zinnia. <laughs> oh, Zappy! <laughs> <laughs> Look what you did! <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> it, it was the crab's fault. <laughs> Look! Ooh. Come back! Come back! Come back, you shellfish! <laughs> 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 